Bush encroachment is a very serious problem affecting savannas across southern Africa. Uh, bush encroachment affects the tree to grass ratio in rangelands, thus reducing the grazing capacity and overall productivity of rangelands. This is a major concern with the ever-growing population demanding more protein, more beef from farmers to be produced on less arable land. And that is where the Bush and Rangeland team from Corteva AgriScience comes into the picture. We will help farmers improve the grazing capacity and overall productivity of their lands and helping them produce more beef, more protein per hectare. Large parts of the Eastern Cape are seriously affected by Acacia Karoo. We're on the farm Quarries Lachter in the Somerset East District, where we have tested some new chemistry uh, for the eradication of the acacia species. Acacia thickets can seriously impair the carrying capacity of grazing land, and where these thickets are removed, the carrying capacity can be increased by up to 50% in some situations, but generally between 20 and 40% improvement can be achieved. Acacia Karoo is a very big problem in marginal lands or lands that have been overgrazed uh, or previously cultivated. Um, it's a very big problem in the Eastern Cape, Northwest provinces and even in the Lipopo province. Ons is op die plaas Gobas Hoop in die Bedford district waar ons redelijk een groot probleem met Acacia bos indringing het. Jullie kan zien waar ons die bome reeds gespuit het is die, is die uh, natuurlijke grasse groei baie beter as gevolg van die feit dat daar nie competitie is nie, uh, teenoor die plekke waar die bome dan nog nie gespuit is. Nie. En dit gaan ons draakracht op die plaas met tussen 30 en 40 procent uh, verhoog, wat een hele positieve economische inpak op die, op die hele bestuur van die plaas het. The Groestache scenario, or sickle bush as it's commonly known, is a very serious problem in the more drier, humid areas of the Limpopo province and even in the Northwest province. We are standing here in the Limpopo province, uh, very close to the small town of Settlers. Uh, we are visiting our trial site today. The the whole idea behind this trial site is to test the, the new agrochemicals that is being developed by Corteva AgriScience. Um, this is actually an aerial application site. Um, we are testing these new products on the species Dicrostacus cinerea, more commonly known as sickle bush. The benefit of using a selective herbicide is we are only controlling the encroaching species but not the grassy layer because we want to improve grass species composition and grass production. Rhizopus is a very big problem in the more arid parts of South Africa, like in the Northern Cape or some parts of the Western Cape. Goeiemorgen Span, ons is hier op die plaas uh, Bitterput. Uh, hier ongeveer in uh, Oktober 2016 het uh, Amerikaanse maatschappij my genader uh, vir proewe vir, uh, op die, op die prosopusse. En ons het begin met die bespuiting hier, ons is nou so'n bykie meer as een jaar weg. Jullie zullen zien, ons is nu hier waar die bomen nu al dood is. En daar zie je sien die geweldige voordeel wat jij krijgt als daar die bomen dood is, dat daar nu weer nieuwe nieuwe grassen vorm. Prosopus encroaches mostly on riverine areas or wetlands where water is of utmost importance. The most recent numbers provided by Working for Water states that Prosopus has encroached more than 2.4 million hectares in South Africa. New chemistry from the Bush and Rangeland team allows us to treat encroached areas by means of aerial application, thus treating larger areas more effectively than by hand. Selective bush control forms a new and exciting part of Corteva AgriScience. 
We look forward to producing many more products in the near future.